Today's exercise is perfect for those who are afraid of watercolors, you don't know where to start, how to begin and how to actually break the blank page. Look no further, sit down with me, get yourself your basic colors, watercolors, a paper, a brush and a little bit of a stencil help because I have a little tip for you. If you don't know how to make straight circles, if you are a perfectionist, this little trick is perfect for you. You're gonna make great circles and you don't really have to try that hard. I purchased this uh, stencil ages ago and from time to time I'm happy to remind myself that I actually own it <laughs> because I keep on forgetting that I do have this stencil and could be used for so many ideas, techniques, projects. So yes, most definitely grab something that will help you to actually make circles or some other shapes. And um, when I have been starting my watercolor journey a few years back on the other YouTube channel, Marami Small Art, I've done some watercolor uh, projects, some break a blank page videos. I'm gonna link you those because even though they are probably some of them maybe dated six years ago maybe even longer they are still fantastic oh look I'm just cleaning the stencil it's a little small important part because when you're moving your stencil around I don't mind if it's a little bit um, watercolor on the side of the circle but sometimes could be too much so clear it out so I wanted to say that I have been painting on the other channel and making blank page videos and starting the pages of watercolors great exercises I'm gonna show you them because even though they are so many years old they still valid there are gorgeous ideas out there and this one is kind of like like a newer version different version of circle pages I've done in the past because you know what honestly I think it's all about the exercise it's all about just trying to do a little bit of creative stuff and sometimes the simplest things can be really the most fun like this exercise where really all you need is a little bit of uh, time and just to have fun with your supplies. I'm doodling around my circles as well because I just love that technique. I love my pilot pen. It is just fantastic and it's giving me this doodly arty feel now. With a touch of water on the side I'm just gently touching the little splashes that I splattered around and also I touched that pen so it uh, I drag a little bit of that water and it gives me this shading effect or just watercolory effect or like a, something that just spills on it basically but it gives me this um, you not uniformed or not so perfect look which I love and also it gives me a little bit of a darker background now my next step is something I totally love which is using the gorgeous gold paints the accent of gold is making it and I just was wondering what can I add to my circles what I would love and then it came to me it hit me it was like Marta <laughs> your golds either glitter or golds these are your two absolute favorites I think metallic paint in between those lines of the pen is just amazing little touch I'm showing you a slower process I mean normal process in a minute I'm gonna speed it up and I'm gonna have even two cameras just to show you how to build up uh, this uh, little exercise a little tiny brush and you need really being a little bit precise at least I felt that I like the precision in here however just because I like the precision doesn't mean you need to have your circles your paint going precise way but it's just an idea for you I think imagine now uh, and I didn't do it. I actually completely have been like a chicken afraid of it. But I was thinking when it was finished to cut it in four and have a gorgeous background for a card. Just add a little title. You will see it for yourself when you do your circles. It's such a phenomenal idea for a background and abstract card. Actually, I love it. Um, I I, I was just afraid to actually do it but uh, indeed I was thinking that could me make such a great little card um, here I'm just finishing up I will also do a little bit of um, gold splashes not easy to make splashes with the gold paint especially handmade paint but I have to say that the final touches the tiny splashes when they were dry they looked so beautiful 
beautiful so amazing uh, those paints are scream if you wish to check them out link is of course in the description box below those are just amazing look at it the pigmentation is amazing and it's such a simple exercise thank you so much for watching i'll chat to you soon happy painting